Hey there, Mars here. This is my channel, We Gay. Welcome back to another episode of Zag Zen, a gay sequel. Um, so we last left off confront confronting is not the word white white word the right word. Um, yeah, we're here in front of Tom and Eva. Um, is that where we left off? I think that's where we left off. Uh, anyways, um. Welcome back. I haven't recorded in a while. Whew, I'm gonna take a sip of water already, already, already. I know you love that ASMR, that's why you're here, right? Um, let's just get into it, actually. And I'll talk about life as we go. So, just as I started eating, I spot Tom and Eva walking into the room. Tom and I lock eyes, and he stares at me for a moment before walking out of the room. Who's gonna blink first? Who's gonna blink first? I couldn't do it. I didn't- I didn't moisten up first before doing the staring contest just now. Eva seems to hesitate before following him. Dinner is quiet and awkward, even after a couple brothers sit with me and we talk about classes. Is my desktop audio happening? I head back to my room afterward. At least, at, at least glad that it's the weekend. Okay, that's working. Saturday, February 10. I wake up early Saturday morning from a dream about Tom, Eva, and some brothers finding out I was gay and refusing to talk to me ever again. Who cares? <laughs> Not who cares about your dream, but just who cares that they walk out is what I mean, because fuck them. That's what I mean. I guess that isn't too far from the truth right now, though. I roll out of bed, figuring I should go find Chris. I knock on the door to Chris and Adam's room. It opens after a bit. Good morning. Adam groans from his bed and pulls his pillow over his head. It's too early, dude. Up too late having alone time with a textbook again, Chico. Adam doesn't respond, but he seems to shake his head under the pillow. Let me get dressed. We can get... Oh, wait. Let me get dressed. <laughs> that, that's... I'm trying to do a more pleasant tone. We can get breakfast or something. We can get breakfast or something? That sounds perfect. He shuts the door and reappears a few minutes later in different clothes. What do you mean? He always wears this. The yard? Just kidding. That sounds nice. The restaurant... Oh, my God. I bit the inside of my cheek again. Oh, my God. I wish I could put a band-aid in there. What if I just play it like this so I definitely won't be biting it inside of my cheek? The rest just kidding. The restaurant is fairly quiet and we're seated right away. Pancake pizza? Those are always good. Sausage and half jalapeno or sausage? <sighs> Let's do sausage and half jalapeno. That's fine. We can also get just sausage without jalapeno, or whatever else you want. No, it's fine. You should get jalapenos, especially if it's just half. The waitress comes by, and I place our order. Is he going to be mad because I did that? So, what are your plans for the weekend? Chris shugs. I have some homework I could do. There will probably be some more board games. Sounds pretty standard. You? Other than what? Other than wanting to spend time with you? I'm not sure. Spending time at the house? Probably not. Maybe not? I don't know. After what Steve said, I just feel like I'm in this constant fear of being outed or something. <laughs> what did Steve say? I'm surprised Adam didn't tell you all about it. He said that you hurt your wrist and he was worried about you. Oh, that's not most of it. I quickly fill him in on t Tom and Steve. That's really unfair. Steve has no right to tell you that you can't or how to come out. That's a lot stronger statement than Chris normally makes. Aww, that's because he likes you! It sounds like you're afraid you've already been outed, but also struggling with coming out to your brothers in general. That sounds about right. But why should I be? I sh it shouldn't matter whether they know or not. He squeezes my hand under the table. Your brothers are important to you. It's normal to feel like you want to stop hiding part of yourself from them. I don't know what the right answer is, but if there's something I can do to help... Dude, you help already so much. I'm glad. Just don't feel like you have to do anything. Take things at your own pace. 
<laughs> oh, Chris. The breakfast, breakfast pizza arrives and we dig in, and I feel a lot better about everything after Chris's words and the food. Soon it's gone, and Chris insists on paying for the meal. I was probably, I just bit the inside of my cheek, going to do some homework, unless you wanted to do something else. Oh! I could do some homework, I guess. Oh. Want to see if there are board games? I kind of wanted to hit the gym. I don't want to do board games. I don't want to do board games. <laughs> um, homework. Gym. Homework. You don't have to. We can do something else. Dude, don't let me talk myself out of this. Let's go study. Okay. We head back to Chris and Adam's room. Adam's sitting at his desk reading a textbook. Good morning, sleepyhead. How was breakfast? I just bit the inside of my mouth. Cheek. It was good. Chris convinced me to do some studying. And I assume you don't have any of your textbooks on you. Hey, Chico, do you have any of the textbooks for my classes? <laughs> Adam sighs, looks through his bookshelf, and hands me a book. Thanks, dude. I settle down on Chris's bed with the book while Adam and Chris work on their own things. Chris sits next to me after a while, and I smile at him. Hey. He kisses me quickly, then blushes. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to do that. I grab him and kiss him again more passionately. I like how their eyes are both closed. He makes a surprise noise before leaning into it. Boing. He breaks for air, and I lean my forehead against his, feeling his rapid breath on my cheek. Dude, you can do that whenever you want. He smiles and leans back. I was thinking about lunch. I'd suggest the yard, but you were just there for breakfast. I could do that, and get some pasta or salad instead. I'm always up for more pizza, Chico. That sounds good then. I need a, dr a drink. I need a drink, please. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> the restaurant is a lot busier, and we put our names in and wait for a table. So, how was studying? Fine. Name some of the essential amino acids. Dude. Uh... What are some of the essential amino acids? I should know this because I was in AP Bio. I was in pre-AP and AP Bio back in the day. Back in the day, I don't remember any of that stuff. But I did almost... I've probably said this on the channel too, that I was nominated for Student of the Month once, my senior year, because of... I was nailing the DNA section. Or... Yeah, the DNA segment of um, the AP by my AP bio lesson. What am I trying to say? Um, I was doing so good at DNA. Amino acids. What are some amino acids? Wait, hold on. What are some amino acids? Oh, okay. The essential amino acids are histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenyl something, tryptophan. All I know is tryptophan. <laughs> All I know is tryptophan, and that that's what makes you... Wait, that's what is... It's in Turkey, and it makes you sleepy... For Thanksgiving, at Thanksgiving, the non-essential amino acids are alanine, asparagine, aspartic acid, glutamic acid, serine. <laughs> I was thinking of the word polypeptides. I, that, yeah. Anyways, that's enough. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Dude is not an amino acid. Oh! See? Well, I guess we would... I, I did say one of these. Okay. You're not even in that class, Chico. Let's, let's, let's be smart. How many more are there? There's nine total, so six more. Isn't tryptophan in turkey? Oh, I just said that, baby! Yeah, it makes you sleepy. Oh, I just said that too! Okay. 
how does it make you feel sleepy? Dude, I've been studying all morning. Let's talk about something that isn't biology. Fine, fine. The conversation moves on to more mundane topics and we're seated soon after. So, are you actually getting pasta or something, dude? Chris shrugs. I guess I also wouldn't mind pizza. How about a pizza and a large salad to share? That sounds good. The meal is uneventful, and soon we've finished all of the food. Time for more studying? Dude, now it's time to run. Actually, I kind of want to finish my program. As much as, I, as it'd be nice to spend all day together, I think I'm studied out for the day. That's fair. Well, I mean, we'll see you later then, dude. Chris squeezes my hand under the table. I smile at him. That wasn't my hand. <laughs> they head back to their room as I consider my afternoon plans. Go to the gym, go to the game room. Go play games in the computer lab. Let's go to the gym, baby. I go to quickly grab my gym clothes and head to the gym. Ah, Malik's working the desk. Hey, honey. I swipe my card and he hands me a towel. So, uh, how are you doing? Just fine, how are you? I consider asking him if he'd, be, if he'd be interested in talking sometime, but the words stick in my throat, like come. I'm good, just, sorry. <laughs> I'm good, just getting a run in. Well, have a nice time. I run for a while, the exercise helping me to relax a bit. I figure it's time for dinner and head back to the house. Dinner's just being set out when I return, and I fill up a plate and find a table to sit at. Oh, God. What shit is he going to say to us now? Uh, Steve walks into the room as, a, as I'm finishing up my meal. Mm, looks over at me and seems to hesitate a bit before walking over. What now? How's your arm? Oh, it's fine now. Hurts a bit, but, um, hurts a bit if I bend it too much or whatever, but fine. That's good. We're quiet for a bit. Did you know Robert's brother is gay? Yes. We remember that from the first game. Of course you did. I guess everyone does after what Elliot did. Huh? Yeah, exactly. What Elliot did? Dude, if you have a point to make, please just make it. Steve stares at me for a bit. Look, I'm sorry. What? Last week when Robert came to get his stuff and after you and I had our conversation. I don't know if I'd exactly call that a conversation. Wow, this... He's me. I am him. He, like, everything I'm saying, he's saying also. It's very interesting. I did the quotes also. Like, we, we are one and the same, he and I. He told me I was being a bit unfair to you. Wait. Interesting. What? And I... I think it would still be better for everyone if you were quiet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to go back. Who told him? Wow. Oh my god. Okay, Robert said... Robert... I just got goosebumps. Holy shit. Robert said Steve was being unfair. Even though Robert is the one who beat the shit out of... Elliot. That's nuts. Okay. But I suppose I don't have a right to tell you how to live your life. No, you fucking don't. He shrugs. So, I'm just sorry. Not good enough, but okay. Robert really said that? You damn well better be. I'm gonna say... I'm... I wanna know what's up with Robert saying that. Robert is a good person. <laughs> Fuck off! Sorry, I just got really... Uh... Triggered. Robert is a good person, you know. He just had a rough time last semester. He put someone in the hospital. Sorry, you're not a good person. <laughs> you beat someone up because they were... No. Hold on, I have to turn my fan on. I'm getting heated. I'm getting heated now. Sorry, I'm so mad. I'm so mad right now. I need a... I need... Yeah. See? Wow! He and I are one and the same. Look at that. He almost killed Elliot, dude. You call that a good person? We are in sync. We are in sync, he and I. Wow. 
let that sink in. Anyways, I don't like puns, but um, I just did it, so um, sorry. I'm not excusing what he did, but you've known him for years now, Mars. He's always been a good, a bit of an asshole, but yes, generally a good person. No, 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 sorry, no, no. Is this just you trying to get me to get along with him? Yes. Given that Robert isn't coming back again, no. I don't need you to get along with him. I'm just saying what happened. Yeah, what, you s what you're saying is all f full of shit, though. Anyway, have a good dinner, eh? <laughs> yes, run along, piece of shit. He leaves and I sit there for a while, lost in my thoughts. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Those are my thoughts. <laughs> I really need to talk to Elliot. I head back to my room. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of hyper, I feel like. I'm feeling a little hyper. Ooh, I just farted. Oh, sorry. I hope you didn't get that on the microphone. I sit at my computer and stare at my I am list. Chris, James, and Elliot all appear to be online. I'm not sure I should bother James again. He seems to always be so busy. I hide his contact for now. Okay, interesting. But I keep it around just in case. I stare at Elliot's name for a while. Hold on, someone keeps texting me. I gotta turn my phone away. Okay, I can't check it out again. If I don't tell him now, I don't think I'll ever be able to. Not that there's a niceness to email. It's more disconnected and impersonal. True, true, true. Talk to Elliot. Talk to Chris. Hang out around the house. No, we're not hanging around the fucking house. We are going to talk to Elliot. I am gay. Okay. This is stupid. Good evening to you, too. What's stupid? Are you gay? <laughs> are you gay? Are you gay? What are you, gay or something? <laughs> so am I. Oh shit, did I really just do that? He doesn't respond for a bit, and I start typing an apology. You know, uh, as much as I've been expecting this conversation, I'm not really sure how to respond. The answer is yes or no! The answer is yes. Are we in sync too? Because I just said the answer is... Interesting. But I feel like that's not really enough for, of an answer for what you're really asking. What am I really asking? I stare at the words, my heart thundering in my chest. Boom, boom, boom. Unsure of what to say. It's, <laughs> I'm so hyper right now. It seems Elliot isn't really sure what to say either because there's nothing else for a while. <sighs> Remember that day before all this happened when you asked me to play foosball? Foosball. We were going to... You were going to... Oh! You were going to ask me out, weren't you? Oh! My fingers tremble. As I try to uh, type a response. I didn't even know if you were. Gay? Yeah. I wanted to come out to you, but I couldn't. <laughs> and now on my screen, name says I am gay. We're quiet for a while. So what now? Mars. That's my name. I feel like an idiot for not taking my chance when I had it. And I just... I wonder if things would have turned out differently if I'd been a little more brave. I think I understand what you're asking. And I think you really don't want to be asking that. What am I asking? Take my gay virginity? Like, I don't... Right now. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? I have to go, but we'll talk again later. We'll talk again later? Question mark. Elliot. He signs off and I stare at the screen for what feels like hours. Does that mean he isn't, wasn't interested in me? I distract myself with random internet videos, Pornhub, or We Gays YouTube channel until it's time for bed. Sunday, February 11, 2007. I wake up Sunday morning to a knock at my door. Good morning, Chico. I... Oh, hey, dude. I thought you were Adam. Chris just smiles at me. Sorry, I just wanted to talk. Uh-oh. Yeah, please, come in. He sits on my bed and I close the door before sitting next to him. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just, uh... I had a dream about you. Oh, he's blushing! Look at those cheeks! Ah! Oh, he means a wet dream. Oh? He kisses me quickly. Ow, ow, my neck. I, uh, sorry, morning breath. He shrugs, 
and I rummage on my desk for an old pack of mints and suck on one. So, uh, what kind of dream? He looks at me and takes my hand in his. That's not my hand. We were, uh, he slowly... Um, I'm going to end the episode there. <laughs> he slowly glides, guides my hand to his crotch. He's hard. Erections training at his pants. I'm going to leave it on a cliffhanger. I mean, it's not a cliffhanger. You know what's about to go down. Or this could be a dream. We don't know. They like, they, they, they like to do that. They like to do that. Um, look at them blushy cheeks. I'm going to end the episode there, though. If you want to see what happens next... You're gonna have to click on the next video. And you're gonna have to tell your friends, tell your family, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your dog, tell your cat, tell your hamster about my channel. Okay. And tell them to look at the link down below, click the like button, ring the bell as they all say. Um, sorry, I'm doing it. I gotta, I'm, I'm trying to build this, this channel up. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna uh, kind of go for it. <laughs> Don't I sound so confident? Um, anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. We'll talk soon, alright? Bye.